All right, ladies and gents, it is time to take down Blue and Arius. However, we're going to be doing it with a random 555 Towers mod. If you missed my previous video on this against a boss, check that one out. It didn't go very well because one, it was Vortex, and two, it was on a much harder map in Spring Spring. But for this week's, I only have Stream Bed. And I guess in general, Blue and Arius is just easier than Vortex. So we're going to give it a go once more. Last time I died to tier 3, but I think this time I really, really want to go all the way. So of course to get all the way there, we have to have a good head start with cast drops. Last time I think I did 4 in my last attempt, but I'm going to start with uh, 2 for now. The thing is, as long as I randomize to a farm tower, like I'm set. The early game just comes down to how good of a farm you can get in the early game. And then that basically allows you to snowball. So right now, I think first things first, I want to get a decent tower so i think a 201 wizard's good and now we just need to get another tower that randomized that to hopefully a farm if i end up not getting a farm then maybe another cash drop is needed and yeah certainly seems like the case so far i got a 222 um heli pilot oh never mind there's a farm boys unfortunately it's a base 000 while good i don't know if a base 000 is enough to actually make enough money to have a survive later on so maybe i'll just drop another tower the thing right now is that I really can't upgrade this heli, and ideally I don't really want to sell. So we're just going to randomize this mortar over here. But yeah, based on how things are looking, I'm just going to add one more. Three max, I feel like. Four is a bit pushing it. So again, let's just hope that we get a bit lucky here. Thing is, we're not really getting unlucky. There's just so many towers and so many combinations that it's pretty much like a 5% chance we end up running to a banana farm. Once again, I should mention that if you forgot that the randomizer is a balanced one so uh, every upgrade that i end up randomized to is going to be uh, close to the cost of the total tower whether that be above or below it by about 20 percent either way we do have some really strong towers uh, but i have to again keep randomizing them and hey we got a good one that also does damage so i could probably even get rid of the ninja granted i get uh lead popping by round 28 but this one's good you know, I kind of feel like I'm sinking way too much money into this one tower here. So maybe we'll end up dropping, stopping at a decent tower. I think this one's actually pretty good, isn't it? Good single target with 104 and also clean up. So maybe I'll just keep this guy, all right? Come on, nope. Nope. Hey, what's this? We got a balloon trap. So I think this actually makes really good money, provided we just get rid of this sniper over here. Yeah, anything that's not global range and awesome. There we go. That's huge. Honestly, Blue Trap is probably one of the best things we could get because uh, if you didn't know, this is basically the meta in boss runs now because it makes so much money in the 30s and 40s. So that out of the way. I think we should still keep trying to change this guy to something good against Blue Nairs, provided again, it isn't full map range. Let's take away it pops. Deadly Spike isn't very good, if unless we're looking at the one-shot Blue Nairs, which we're not. Next, you got a mid, but it's a bit too early for one. Again. Oh, this is definitely worth keeping. 442, guys. Not only will this do great against Blue and Arius, but it'll also clean up the insides. It surrounds really well because of the more glaives. Honestly, a pretty solid combo. So let's get a, another tower into hopefully a farm. Here's a triple shot sharpshooter. Is this good against Blue and Arius? Uh, you know what? I'll probably just spend a bit more time re rolling. This is uh, not good enough. Not good. Actually, oh, I probably should have kept that because I need camo detection. Or D camel rather. Right now, I think I'll die to like round 42 AI because right now I only have the uh, the boat there. I also unluckily dropped this guy, which is global range. All right, we need to get a fan club sharp shooter. So uh, basically the same as the two, three, four we got before. Well, gotta keep it because there's one round left, and just guarantee that we end up beating Blue Nairs here. So uh, yeah, good luck to myself. I really wonder how much damage this boomerang guy will do. Wait for it to get a range. Don't forget that the Turbo Charge gets extra mold damage and Red Hot Ranks too. So if I use the ability... Oh yeah, this is definitely going to beat Blue Nairus solo. Yeah, we should have enough to beat Tier 1, so we shouldn't have to worry. Or we should rather uh, um, try to randomize another farming tower in the meantime, right? For funsies, let me just use the Fan Club ability just to see if it... Oh my god, that actually does a lot of damage. I think it's because, you know, it's a Sharpshooter projectile, so it crits. And there's a Marketplace. Awesome, awesome. And yeah, we're looking way better than Vortex so far, guys. Very clean tier 1. Thanks to that boomerang. And hey, we got another Merch Man. Unfortunately, this one's actually in range of attacking. But luckily, it's only one dart. So I don't think we lose too much by uh, having this guy pop a little bit. So I'll keep it. 
Next tower. Hey, we got another 200 farm. We are now, like, getting on a roll of these farms here, aren't we? I'll keep taking them. I got another 200 farm. Wow. What is this luck I'm getting right now, folks? Got a maelstrom. Hey, there's another one. Oh, holy crap. I think I just sold my soul for all these farms right now. And there is another one. Wow. This is almost better than winning the lottery. Like, who needs real-life cash when you have this much in-game BT6 cash? Can't imagine. And again... I promise you guys I did not rig the odds behind the scenes. This is just, uh, yeah, essentially hitting the lottery in the video game. Like, talking about a 5% chance, but getting so many in uh, quick succession, it's pretty crazy. And hey, we also got our jungle's bounty, which is technically a farm because, well, we can use the ability. And I think there's uh, three forms of radius. I don't know if this one reaches, but that would be pretty cool if it did. I guess bad news is that the vine attack kind of takes away pops from the... Uh, uh, NG here. So is that actually, uh, like, gonna lose us more money than it gives? Let me just see. $600. And honestly, it's probably worth keeping because the balloon trap gets less money. Pass around 50 because the balloons don't give, give as much money. So I think we're fine on that front. But yeah, now we're basically just hoping that the game doesn't crash on us. Because with this mod, if you've seen already, it's kind of unstable sometimes. You might end up running into a bug where, uh, I don't know, the randomized tower just... Freezes up all the projectiles in the game, and you have to back out of the game in order for it to continue. That would really suck, especially if you're having it right now. Hit me with your next tower. Hey, another jungle's bounty. This is almost the exact same cross path. Uh, balloon impact recursive mauler. I think this probably does good ball damage. I guess we'll check out in two or so rounds. So yeah, let's see if these two new additions can help us beat tier two uh, uh, balloon arrows here. First off, watch damage. Oh, that's pretty good. I think it's like... 400 damage per shot. Yeah. Let's just work on our next tower, because I'm pretty sure we're fine. This map is pretty darn long. Flavor trades. This is, yeah, worth keeping. Anything that makes money at the moment is a keeper. So let's just work on our next tower. Let's see. Hey, another merchant man. Again, when you're on a roll, you're you're on a roll. What, what else can I say? Another farm. Yep. It's just that kind of day for us, isn't it? Our Comanches are working fine so far. Nothing to worry about. Hey, here's a uh, Sniper. This is definitely good. Deadly Precision, so more damage per shot, plus full auto, plus shrapnel. Look at that mold damage go. I think we're very fortunate this week's is on stream bed and not spring spring. So there it is. Again, tier 2 easily taken care of. Hey, here's a bank. First bank of the day. Next tower, we got another Merchant Man. This time, uh, cross path pretty well with damage, but yeah. Mainly just for the money we're looking at, so keeping. And another one zero zero farm. We are keeping that as well. Let's see. Hey, IMF loan. I guess this is worth it. And yeah, I think at this point, we ought to start getting damage for two or three. So let's work on that. Reminder, we want to use up the good spots. And we want to spend big, because uh, it'll take too long if we just uh, inch slowly. So 414. I don't know if this actually gives plus one with the attack, but I think I'm just going to uh, try my luck again. Pretty meh. Hey, overclock. I think this is worth keeping because uh, I guess I can overclock some pretty good towers like that boomerang or that dart monkey. I guess in the meantime, we could just overclock like some farms here just to make a little bit more. Anyways, we got ourselves a Shinnok over here, which I guess is also a moneymaker. So uh, another thing worth keeping keeping i know the uh, map at the moment is really cluttered but i really can't get rid of any of these guys until uh, i know i'm good on the money but i know also but that we kind of need a lot of money especially since we don't know what towers we're going to be getting with this randomizer but yeah i think we've made enough money from the boot trap at this point yeah nothing's even hitting because we have so much damage so uh, i think we can probably get rid of this guy now and let's see if we get anything good all right in brutal mitts just what i ordered so yeah, for starters, I think we want to overclock this guy, because right now it's out of range of the boomerang and the dart monkey. So yeah, again, take a look at that damage. Rocking a nice 700 DPS or so. Let's see what else we can get in the meantime. Another embrittlement. I mean, I guess this is a better spot than this one. So uh, I'll probably just uh, reroll this one. Next, ground zero fighter plane. Never miss. While this does have a nice nuke, I don't think... It's worth keeping. Just hope again we don't break anything, because the... Uh, always with the uh, plane I noticed with the randomizer, the bomb race bombs always mess up. 
the show pineapples on. Holy crap. All right, we we won. We hit the jackpot, boys. 425 Elite Defender. Let's just go ahead and overclock that bad boy just to see it have even more damage against Blue Nears. There another ability with the crit dart. And yeah, honestly, at this point, we could probably even be at tier 4 with just these towers alone. Maybe I overestimated difficulty of tier 4, but I, th I still think tier 5 needs more than just this, of course. Luckily for us, however, we have a lot of money to spend. 29k at that, so yeah. I think I'll just get rid of the uh, secret one here. Even though it's good good damage, I think we just want to uh, not have the map as cluttered, you know what I mean? So we're gonna go big here. Spend 20k on a Simitar upgrade, why the heck not? Gotta call the arms, which is unfortunately in the wrong spot. Right now, it's only me buffing the uh, um, bomb tower, which I don't think is, uh, well, that much damage alone. So, yeah, next tower. Hey, two elite defenders. Yes, you guys didn't know. Yes, you can get two tier fives with this randomizer mod. But yeah, that being said, tier three. Piece of cake thanks to two elite defenders. Maybe we can get a third one, just to make sure we're even more set for the rest of the game here. Anyways, at this point, I think the Dart Monkey has had a good run, so let's go ahead and uh, roll big on him. Got a pop and uh, not really that good. Hey, got an Elim. I think this is probably good. You guys think this is pretty spicy? Uh, Mulp Shroud or Promo Spike? If this does get the, the extra bonus damage to Moabs, then yeah. I think it'll be funny to see, uh, well, how much of a spike of damage it does. Probably not enough to, like, insta-kill. I guess on that note, this guy has also had uh, enough uh, time in the spotlight. So, next... Jungle's Bounty. I can't really resist dropping a farm tower, can I? Nah, I can't at this point. I think I'm good. First Strike is also decent, but I don't think it's worth keeping because uh, cooldown so long. So next. Nope. Nope. Oh, crap, crap. No, no, no. Guys, it happened. It happened. As you see, we have a Darling Gunner with Alchemist upgrades, and I think we're just stuck here at round 95. If that's the case then we have no choice but to go back out of the game. But let me just see first if we can actually beat 95, or it just it's just stalled forever. But we're not making any money at all. Nope, nope. The game seems to have stuck in place now. Ah, I sure hope we farmed enough the first 90 rounds that this reset shouldn't be a problem. But again, I'm gonna lose my damage tower, so... Cross the fingers, boys. But yeah, where do I even start? We only have one farm. Oh god, this is brutal. See you guys in a second, after I re-roll everything. Well, this is my loadout after re-rolling a lot, so uh, I think we're just gonna go ahead and go. I end up getting uh, an extra farm and a couple of Chinooks that I guess can help make a little bit of money. But I think what I'm scared about is just the lack of uh, boss damage, because yeah, I don't have really anything good. I, I miss having that Curse of Illuminator. At least we have one of them, but yeah. Other than that, we got a Sentry Champion and a Grand Master, I guess, and a Bomb Blitz. Now, I know this defense doesn't look very pretty, but I think it might be salvageable. We have two overclocks, so let me see what I want to overclock. Well, first off, definitely the Elim ability, right? And then what else do you think does good damage? You have some Harper Spikes here. Spike Storms. How is the Grand Master doing? I also, probably not very good too, okay. Hmm. Yeah, I think I think I got a roll on the expensive ones that I have right now that aren't doing, aren't really pulling their weight. So definitely this guy is, uh, okay, perfect. We got a Harper Spikes. Unfortunately, it's bottom cross path, so we don't get a whole lot of damage from that. So yeah, how about we get rid of you? Energizer is good for cooldowns, but yeah, I guess you get 20% more Elim cooldown, so it's not the worst thing in the world. But yeah, you can tell Tier 4 is doing a lot worse now, unfortunately for us. Well, it's not going to make it this rate, so what do, what do? I think I have to just go big, come on. Infernal Ring, uh, it's not good though. Not good boss damage. We only just hit a quarter now, so yeah, we're definitely way behind schedule. And it's not even close. Another Energizer, but I don't think it stacks. Also, please don't tell me we're, we're dead to this, too. Oh, are you kidding me? Blue Nair's insides? Okay, not yet, but not good. Superstorm. That helps beat insides, I guess, but... Is it even in range to be able to knock things back in time? It's a shame that that bug pretty much cost us run, because I think we're looking really good for Tier 4. Until that happened. Tis a shame. I think I am just gonna get rid of this guy. Hey, Bloom Crush, come on. Can you help out? Now we're dead. Yeah, there it is. Well, let's give it one more retry, I guess. See if we get anything good. Well, I re-rolled and I think I'm satisfied with what I have here. Ignore all the spikes on the screen. 
the main hope here is that the super brittle applies to everything in range here so that all the extra towers that I have can do bonus boss damage. So here's the open. Let's go. And I hope I'm not just tripping here, but I think our boss damage is doing a, a little better now. Fortunately, this range is actually very tiny, so I think our damage is falling off now. And let me just get quickly get into the tower down here. Got myself a monkey obelisk, which I don't know if it makes money or not, but I don't think uh, money is our problem right now, folks. Uh, Sub commander, it's not good enough, guys. Next. Loon Solver also isn't good enough. Maybe Glue Strike can help out if it actually does apply plus 2 damage, which I assume it would. But yeah, with that said, it still seems like a run. It's a little bit better than last time, but I don't think it's going to be enough to take us over the edge. Would love to be proven wrong about this, though. Provided none of the towers break on us, I think there's a chance. It'll be close, but there's a chance. Here's another Spike Storm. Yeah, here's a halfway mark. We're definitely on pace right now. But the problem is that I don't know if I can beat the insides because the last skull is going to pop pretty damn far across the map. Yeah, some of the money actually seems to be flowing in pretty nicely. Maybe it's the Monkey City getting ex extra uh, money per pops. Either way, we need more. Hey, here's another Elim. And yeah, good work so far, but question is, uh, do I have enough to beat Tier 5? Because, uh, yeah. Like, if Tier 4 got this far, Tier 5 has 4x more HP. So it's kind of leaving me doubting if we can actually do it or not. So yeah, there it is, folks. Tier 4 done. We've made it. This is the furthest we've made it so far with the random 5 of 5 towers that I've lost. But there's still one more tier, and yeah, we're definitely not looking good for that one. So let's see. I think we can probably get rid of this guy, because I don't think the plus 5 or the brittle damage was applying from Bloons really far out of range. If I'm wrong, I'll find out. Bloons in, no... Energizer, no. Hey, uh, Juggernaut Crossbow Master. Is that good at all? It's kind of funny looking. I think you could probably get rid of the Spectre. I don't think it, that one does a whole lot of damage. Permacharge, I think, is worth keeping. It does better damage than Spectre. Hey, here's a second Elim ability. Sure, why not? Now, I think here, Flake Ships probably aren't that great. So, uh, let me just go ahead and get rid of you for a Fan Club Crossbow Master. I think based on... How this guy went with the fan club. Worth keeping. Because I think it might do some insane more damage when we have the ability on. That said, guys, it is now go time. Here we go. So first things first, we pretty much have to just get rid of the farms. Because, I mean, we don't really need money at this point, right? Let me just overclock this guy. Use fan club ability. Hey, it's not working. Well, let me just take a look at the damage of uh, the other guys. So this is a couple thousand. This is also a couple thousand. If it really isn't adding to the pop count, that's brutal. Because I feel like this would have done a, a whole lot. Well, either way. Next. Hey, he's a P-Brew. Is that too late? I guess I can get rid of this guy since I have a P-Brew now. I'll keep that, P-Brew. Anyways, it seems like I'm actually doing a huge chunk of damage. Do you see this? We've already got 500k damage. I don't know what's doing a majority of it. Maybe the U-Jug crossbow is actually carrying us. I think a lot of credit also goes to this guy. Look, like, look at that DPS. Holy crap, 5,000 plus per second? Oh my god, yeah, this is going a lot slower. I think Boomerang carry right now. We want to keep ultra boosting that guy, or blocking that guy. Especially if I use the ability, oh my god. That's pretty cracked. But yeah, I think we actually have enough to beat at this point, guys. I am uh, quite surprised. Well, I mean, just looking at tier 4, it was so dire, but I guess if you just get the right stuff, you're, you're, you're golden. I'm just going to see if I can uh, get lucky at anything else here. Got rid of the uh, Ultra Jug Crossbow. Didn't think it was doing a whole lot. Unfortunately, these towers I'm getting also aren't doing a whole lot, but... Let's just keep rolling the die. There's this Harper Spikes, which is decent. And yeah, we hit that half weight mark, so I think at this point we can... Uh, potentially roll the dice for... Uh, just cool cross pass, just to end it all off. Provided we don't, again, get unlucky. And end up crashing the game. That would be really... That would suck really bad. Especially right at the end of a run. So maybe I shouldn't troll or experiment too much, but... I mean, where's the fun if I don't, right? Let me just see what else we can get. That would just insta-kill. Firma Spike, a bit too late to get. So next, Comanche. Meh. This is also meh. So is this guy. Hey, 2P Bruise. Don't need it though. Don't need this also. 525. Oh my god, I think this actually does crap ton of damage. Just look at that DPS go. But yeah, I think this is it, folks. 
253 Boomer here definitely is carrying. Just looking at that pop count. And I guess this guy too, but he got his damage in really, really late. So that said, GG's. We did it. I mean, all it took was three cast drops and uh, a continue or two. But I swear, that uh, bug in the 90s there really changed the outlook for the rest of the run. Because I feel like I probably would have first tried with, if I had the current setup from the start of the game. But again, nothing you can really do when there's that many combinations. Something is bound to fail. Either way, I hope you enjoyed this one. And if you have any other ideas of uh, what to combine this random Towers mod with, then let me know. Until then, I will see you guys in the next video.